Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're diving into the captivating world of elegant color transition. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any future tutorials. And without any further ado, let's dive into the world of elegant color transition here in After Effects. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N for this little icon here, I will rename it to Final, of course you can type your own text, this is gonna be Full HD, 1920 by 1080 duration 5 seconds long, 30 frames per second, ok. Now let's drag and drop our media here in our final scene, use arrows on your keyboard if you need to uh, readjust it or hit S for scaling, like so. And now let's create a map for our media 01, go right click, find here solid layer, I will rename it to matte, also full HD and then hit OK. Now let's add our effects, but before that go here in the effects and preset and if you can't find it just go here on window and you will find it here. Ok, hit here on our matte solid layer, then go here, find Venetian blinds effect, drag and drop onto our matte layer. And for the transition completion, set up our first keyframe here at 0 frames, type here 100 and then go to around 2 seconds and we will type here 0. Now we have something like this in our scene. Also for the direction type here 45 and for the width instead of 20 type 100. Now hit U on our matte layer, then grab all of our keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard, go to graph editor. And if you can't find curve like this, just go right click and you will find it here, ok. And draw a curve like this. And now when we hit 0, we have this Venetian blinds effect in our finals, ok. Our next effect that we're going to use is turbulent displace. Go again here also in effects and preset, turbulent displace, drag and drop onto our matte layer. And also let's try here amount 170. You can play around with the displacement, let's try maybe twist or turbulent, it's really up to you, for the complexity we will type 5. And now let's also animate our evolution, hold ALT on your keyboard, hit here on this stopwatch and I will type time asterisk 100. And now as you can see we have this cool animation. And our final step here in our final composition for now is to change our track mat from none to alpha for this media 01 and if you can find track mats just hit here toggle switches and modes. And now hit zero in our finals we have something like this and this is really cool animation ok. Now let's pre-compose our two layers here in our finals grab them and then go right click find here pre-compose I will rename it to media 01 plus elements, hit OK, of course you can type your own text, hit OK, and then let's zoom zoom in here in our final scene, then duplicate this once, go to around 2 frames, you can change colors here, go right click, find here suitable random color, OK, and then duplicate once again, go to around 4 frames ahead, change random color, also this 6 frames ahead, change here to random color, 8 frames ahead, find here blue color, Control plus D and this is gonna be our final. Now grab our first media 01 plus elements composition, go here in the facts and preset, type here fill effect and because in our scene our first five composition has been selected, just double click our fill effect and it will be automatically applied on all of our media plus elements selected. Like so, then hit here on our first one, uh, you can change colors according your needs. Maybe for this first one go to this uh, pink color, second one let's try maybe purple color. Of course you will play around with your own colors, with your own options. For the third one dark blue, fourth one maybe light blue, like this. And this final fifth one let's try maybe yellow color. And now in our finals when we hit zero we have this really cool and awesome transition. Hit zero again. And this is looking really cool. Also what we can do is to open up this media 01 plus elements composition again. Go here on media 01, hit S for scaling, set this to around 110. 
set up our first keyframe and then go to around three seconds and type here 100. Now, when we're back here in our finals, we will also have movement of our media in our final scene. Next thing what we can do is to choose all of our media O1 plus elements, go right click to pre-compose it. I will just rename it slide O1, hit OK. And now let's create also our slide O2. Uh, hit here on this slide O1 here in our project menu, control plus D to duplicate, move here in our finals and then move it to around two seconds ahead. Open up this slide O1, then grab all of our media O1 plus elements, also duplicate this media O1 plus elements, we will rename it media O2 plus elements and just hold alt while you're dragging this media O2 plus elements here in our final scene. And now our final step is just to change this media O1, let's find here media 2 and also hold alt while you're dragging this media O2 on top of our media O1. Let's return here in our finals. When we hit zero, we will have also our slide O2. And for me, this is looking really awesome. And this is gonna be great transition that you're going to create. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. Hope, uh, like always, you learned something new. Take a look on my channel for your more great tutorials. Uh, this one you can implement in your own work to create your awesome videos, promos, slideshows, and so much more. Also, I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial. Also, hit that like button if you like this video. All the links are in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.